Hey there, my name is Brad and I'm a software engineer on Chrome OS. I'm joined today by my colleague Matt and we'll be giving you the state of games for Chromebooks in 2022. With over 3 billion gamers worldwide, it's no surprise that more and more users are playing games on Chromebooks. In fact, over a third of app usage on Chromebooks is spent on games like Roblox, Minecraft Education Edition, and Among Us. For over 10 years now, users have enjoyed the speed, simplicity, and security offered by Chrome OS. We believe that games on Chrome OS should share in this focus. This means things like no interruptions for driver updates, ever, one-click game installs, a secure experience without the need for resource-hogging antivirus software, and a streamlined experience to get you into the games that you want to play. But for us to truly meet the needs of our users, we are investing tactically to grow in this space. Through the next year, we will further our efforts to make Chromebooks the most versatile gaming laptops, with users being able to play thousands of performant Android, Cloud, and Steam games. And all of this is wrapped in a thoughtful search and discovery experience focused on the titles users care about. Through investments in both cloud and local capabilities, we've been evolving Chrome OS into one of the most versatile gaming platforms available. Cloud gaming is growing rapidly and we're positioned to provide the best cloud gaming experience. We're working directly with game streaming services like GeForce Now and Stadia to bring a broad library of existing options, both big and small. But many popular titles are still only available locally and many gamers still prefer to play this way. The Play Store provides many of the most popular mobile games and we're working with Valve to bring local AAA PC games to Chrome OS via Steam. The result is a catalog of tens of thousands of popular games across genres and categories. Of course, we want to make it super simple for users to play the particular game they're looking for across these platforms. Having access to all of these games is only meaningful if they are playable with great performance. We're enhancing the performance of local titles with efforts like Game Mode, which automatically optimizes resource allocation when a game is launched. Through our works with Chromebook program, we're expanding compatibility with gaming peripherals such as gamepads, mice, and headsets to deliver a better Android gaming experience on your Chromebook. And we've optimized our streaming stack to reduce latency and provide a seamless cloud gaming experience. NVIDIA has even called GeForce Now the perfect Chromebook companion. To walk you through how to bring your games to Chromebooks, I'm gonna hand it over to Matt to tell you more. Thanks, Brad. With our direction and history covered, let's talk about what you, the developers, the designers, the creators can do to get your games running on Chromebooks. Let's break things down into categories based on where your game is published. We have Steam games, Android games, and cloud games. Each one has its own journey to get running on Chromebooks, and we're going to walk you through each one. Earlier this year, we opened up an early alpha of Steam on Chrome OS, and we have been blown away by the enthusiasm from the community. Steam on Chrome OS runs in an Arch Linux environment similar to that of the Steam Deck. In general, if your game runs natively in Linux or works well with Proton, you can expect it to work on Chromebooks. To try your game on a Chromebook, you'll need to first get a supported model. Currently, these include Intel devices with Iris XE graphics, eight or more gigabytes of RAM, and active cooling. Run the Chrome OS dev channel, enable Steam with the Enable Borealis flag, and the insert coin command in Crosh, the Chrome OS shell. Once Steam is up and running, you can test just as you would on other platforms using the tools in your Steamworks account to enable testers or set up closed betas. Our support for Steam is still early and in active development, so feedback from game developers is especially valuable in guiding our work. At g.co slash steam on Chrome OS, you'll find lots more info, including how to contact us if you encounter issues with your game that seems specific to Chrome OS. Stay tuned later this year for more details on how to identify your game as ready for Chromebooks as we continue developing this experience with our partners at Valve. Next up is Android. Chromebooks have access to the same Google Play Store as Android and feature promotion for Chrome OS optimized games. However, there are some changes you should consider in order to provide the best experience to Chromebook users. There are three key questions to keep in mind. What in the build and design of your game should be adapted? 
how to best test these changes and analyze issues, and how to publish and ensure your game is available for Chrome OS audiences. And we'll discuss them in that order. Game Changes is also a multi-part discussion, and we'll start with architecture and ABIs. For the most part, anything that can run on Android will run on a Chromebook. The biggest pitfall is the architecture of a device. While the Android phone and tablet market is largely ARM-based, Chromebooks are typically x86 devices. To ensure you're getting the best performance and stability out of your game, you want to publish and build for both architectures. To help you do this, Google and Unity have been working together, and we're excited to announce that starting with the Unity 2019 LTS and onward, x86 and x86-64 build options for Chrome OS are available under the Android build target. With just a couple of tweaks to your player settings, you can quickly start exporting x86 builds. Rounding out your changes, we have visual design and input. The overarching message here is to design beyond mobile. Consider the new devices that your players will be using and how to use their features to your advantage. That said, let's look at these two categories more closely, starting with visual design. On Chromebooks, there is much more real estate to work with. This allows you to display more information at once, or perhaps give elements more breathing room and alleviate a congested UI. We've seen great success when developers design a landscape layout for their games, as this creates a native feeling desktop experience. As for input, there are some Chromebooks that are tablets or that can convert into tablets, but many devices are either clamshell only or default to a clamshell form factor. Due to this, making sure keyboard and mouse controls are handled well is key to providing a good experience. If you have on-screen buttons and virtual D-pads or joysticks, then you should create keyboard mappings for these actions. This is especially important for games where speed of input or quick reflexes are critical, and also for games that utilize complex touch gestures like pinch or spread. That said, some games don't need in-depth input adaptations. For example, if your game resembles a classic Match 3 title, then the emulation Chrome OS provides for touch to mouse and trackpad could very well be enough. However, we still recommend having some basic keyboard bindings like Escape or Back to pause or open the settings menu. Remember too, that better input adaptation will correlate to better accessibility, and who doesn't like that? Once you've made those changes, you're going to want to make sure the experience meets your standards, so let's dive into testing. There's no substitute to testing on a device, and deploying to a Chromebook is fairly simple. Best part, there's no need to enter into developer mode. Just turn on Linux developer environment, and then toggle on Enable ADB Debugging. You'll be required to restart your computer during this process, but once that's done, you'll be able to use ADB Connect and ADB Install to get your game running on device. You'll also want to organize a pool of devices to test on. There are many different kinds of Chromebooks, so building an efficient pool takes careful consideration. The main aspects to keep in mind are forefront of Chrome OS version updates, device architecture, hardware spec range, and feature variety. Also, keep in mind who your target audience is and what Chromebooks they might have. To be on this forefront of Chrome OS updates, a Samsung Galaxy Chromebook or a Latitude 7410 Chromebook device works nicely. There are higher-end devices and also x86 machines, enabling you to test those new x86 builds you should be exporting. This makes for a great choice for a first testing device. Next, consider your audience and what devices they might have access to. This is mostly a call-out for games with a large educational presence. Devices like the Samsung Chromebook 4 are a common Chromebook in school spaces. So, if that sounds like your game, then consider one of these. This device sports 4 gigabytes of RAM and an Intel Celeron processor, making it a great option for testing across a wide range of specs. And last is spec diversity. The trick here is to assemble a variety of features to afford broader testing. As we mentioned earlier, some Chromebooks offer different form factors, like converting into a tablet by removing the keyboard or folding it behind the screen. Some come with styluses, and some don't have touch functionality at all. Keep in mind, too, that there are ARM Chromebooks, and while we strive for parity, there can be differences. To provide yourself the best coverage of unique characteristics, consider the devices you already have and pick out new machines that include features not already represented in your pool. Given the first two recommendations, a Pixelbook or a Lenovo Chromebook Duet would suit your device pool well. And wrapping up the Android portion here is publishing. 
After making and testing all those improvements, it'd be quite the shame if your game wasn't available to Chromebook users. The TLDR here is that as long as you haven't specifically excluded Chromebooks, there's a high likelihood that your game is already available. Let's walk through it though. Google Play Store and Chrome OS uses the same listings as Android. And so when you create a listing and publish through the Google Play console, that listing will be considered for Chrome OS devices. To reduce maintenance overhead and to make sure that the improvements you make to your game can be seen across all devices, not just Chromebooks, we advise that you maintain a single listing and a single build. This means that you'll be uploading your APKs and app bundles in the same way you have been. Same listing, same track. Do make sure that you haven't listed any Chromebooks in your device block list and that any exclusion rules you have set aren't capturing Chromebooks either. Your manifest might also prevent your game from appearing on Chrome OS devices. This typically happens in the form of required features like world-facing cameras and GPS. Be sure to audit your list of required features, especially if it was copied from a previous title, and remove what you don't actually need. Of course, if your game absolutely requires these, perhaps like a GPS for a geolocation RPG, then you should leave the requirement in your manifest and shed a single tear for the lost opportunity. Or more, we won't judge. If you've already begun distributing your games on PC with Google Play Games, your game will work great on Chromebooks with no major changes at all. Simple config changes in Google Play Console are required to get your game to Chromebooks. Go here, chromeos.dev slash L slash Google Play Games to learn more. And last but not least, we have cloud gaming. If your PC game is not on Steam or the game performance isn't meeting your standards, you can still bring it to Chrome OS via one of our cloud gaming partners by listing your game on their service. GeForce Now, Luna, and Stadia are all optimized for Chromebooks, so we suggest that you start with them if you want to stream your game on our platform. Their developer links are listed on the slide for your convenience. Phew, all right, that's it for our last category. Now, let's take a moment to review. If you want to bring your Android game to Chrome OS, the key is to design beyond mobile. Consider how to adapt your game beyond its mobile form, especially in the realms of visuals and input. Explore an x86 build, which Unity supports, starting from 2019 LTS and onward. Verify your manifest so that your game will appear on the Play Store for Chromebooks. Publish through Google Play Console the same way you would for Android. Remember that chromeos.dev slash L slash Google Play Games has details on bringing your Google Play game to Chrome OS. If you want to bring your Steam game to Chrome OS, pick up a supported device and set it to dev channel. Make sure you enable the Borealis flag and then enter the insert coin command to crush. From there, you'll be able to test like you would on any other platform. And check out g.co slash Steam on Chrome OS for more details. And if you want to bring your cloud game to Chrome OS, list with any of the providers that run on Chromebooks. Okay, for real now, that's everything. But if you're looking for even more resources, please do visit chromeos.dev, our official home for developing for and on Chromebooks, complete with code snippets, more in-depth guidance, and case studies. There's also games.withgoogle.com, a great resource aimed specifically at game developers that has information across many different Google services like cloud, ads, and play. And for more video content, you can find additional talks through the YouTube channels, Android developers, and Google Chrome developers. We're excited to see your games running on Chromebooks. Take care and may the place to reviews be ever in your favor.